back to that spot in the Caucasus Mountains because we want to fine-tune our attempt to identify Gog and Magog. It is not sufficient to say that Gog and Magog are the European Christians and European Jews. No, because amongst the European Christians and European Jews, there will be those who become Muslims, there will be those who are our friends and allies. Do not make the mistake. We have to look for a people who will eventually be moving from that northern area and moving towards Jerusalem. Shortly after the death of the Prophet وسلم, something very mysterious happened in that part of the world that historians have chosen to bury. A tribe called the Khaza, Khaza, chose to embrace Judaism and so the world witnessed for the first time the very strange phenomenon of a non-Semitic people becoming Jews, non-Semitic becoming Jews. And these people, the Khaza, chose to convert to Judaism, but they did so not for any religious reasons. They were not so much interested in the Kitab <laughs> and to follow the law. They embraced Judaism for purposes of political expediency. They were sandwiched between Islam and Christianity, Byzantine Christianity, and they chose Judaism. These European Jews who have no racial, biological connection with the Banu Israel multiplied. Nasser, they multiplied and multiplied and breed it to such an extent that today nine or nine in every ten Jews in the world, 90% or more are European Jews. They outnumber the Semitic Jews by nine to one or ten to one. These European Jews, if you look at the list of names of Nobel Prizes for science, for literature, would you name it? You will find that these are people who far exceed the rest of mankind in their intellectual brilliance, in their academic achievements, in their scientific research. They are a people different from the rest of mankind. 